Welcome back to another episode of maybe the Daily Beard. Today, real quick, just because I've gotten yet another video and I get a fair amount of these and which is why I really feel we should talk about this parent uh, sending me an email that their child has myopia and that the eyesight has been getting worse, quote unquote. Myopia is getting higher, even though that improved habits. Well, if you're not familiar with improving habits yet for child myopia ceilings below, please do some reading first before you ask me questions because a lot of times I've answered these questions in the past. This person emailed me going, my child's myopia is getting worse even though we have cut screen time, we've cut close-up time, we're spending more time with distance vision, um, we're using lower corrections for close-up, which all sound correct, like it's a good starting point of analysis, right? At least we're starting with, here's what we're already doing, which is better than a lot of people do and really helpful. But then they don't explain how do we know that the myopia has been getting worse, right? That distance vision has been getting worse. I'm not getting an explanation there. And for me, that's a red flag because if you're telling me my child's eyesight has been getting worse, we want to quantify this, A, by how much, right? And two, B, by how do we know this? And I responded to the email. I was like, okay, how do we know this, that the eyesight has actually gotten worse? Parent replies that they went to the optometrist. And that's where I made, obviously, I've made a fair amount of videos about this, about why I don't trust optometrist measurements by themselves anyway. I've written a lot about it on the website. Short version here is this data is not conclusive or meaningful by itself. If you say to me, I've put an eye chart at home and my child was able to read the 2030 line and now can only read the 2040 line, then yes, clearly the eyesight's gotten worse. If you're saying we do centimeter measurements and yesterday or before the centimeter measurement was 40 centimeters, now it's 35, and it's been lower like that consistently, not just for a day, but just for an ongoing period of time. Okay, yeah, the eyesight's been getting worse. If you say an independent optometrist who doesn't have prior records and did a measurement without having a look at the doctors of the glasses, says the doctors are X amount, which is higher than your previous doctor. Basically an optometrist without any prior knowledge or ways to be affected by what they think automatically is increasing. I would say, okay, there's an issue. But just if you go back to your regular optometrist a year later and they look at the doctor history of the child, they're automatically gonna dial in a higher doctor. If the child goes, yep, that's better, highly subjective, then there you go, myopia has gotten worse. My issue with this stuff is, and my issue with asking me for advice on these things is what, what's challenging to me is that I explain these things and maybe not well enough, right? Like maybe I'm not doing good enough of a job, but the key, the starting point with understanding your child's eyesight is measuring, you measuring, not outsourcing the measuring, not going, well, somebody else would do this for me, you measuring. I chart, right, number one, centimeter measurements, number two, if the child's too young, we talk about this, you can do like little figures, right, like a Lego figures, one is a smiley face, one is a frowny face, how far can you put the, fit, the Lego from the child before they can't recognize if it's a smiley or frowny face in the same lighting condition, gives you the same kind of data. That is the data you need to assess correctly how your child's eyesight is doing. Sure, go to the optometrist. I'm not saying don't go to the optometrist. Get regular eye checkups at, at an ophthalmologist, ideally. Get checkups, get measurements, fine. That's perfectly okay. But do not rely on those measurements solely and entirely. And then email me going, oh, things have gotten worse. When you don't know, right? If you're outsourcing these measurements to a retail optometrist who is instinctively or by training going to sell or try to sell or be inclined to sell high adopter glasses, to me that is not a, a data point that by itself means anything, right? It just doesn't. Very starting point, before you even start messing with wanting to improve the child's eyesight, the number one starting point is measuring. Until you've measured, right? Until you have a solid understanding of measuring and a solid understanding of how measurements change over time, you should do nothing. Right? You shouldn't start changing habits and changing doctors and messing with stuff. You should absolutely, definitely not. Step one is measuring. Step one is knowing the starting point for yourself. Fine to do with the optometrist also, but for yourself. And if you're emailing me, I get so much email, I can't answer all email. But ideally, it would include that data, like centimeter measurements have gotten worse over X period of time. Uh, eye chart results have gotten worse over X period of time. 
data that shows me that there is a, a trend, right? An actual trend that you yourself have measured at home that you have a good grasp on. Otherwise, this data is meaningless and I can't help, right? And it's, if you put yourself in my shoes, I'm just one guy, right? And I get endless amounts of email and I try to answer these things by blog posts and by occasional videos and trying to put a little bit of direction to this does require effort, right? Like, unfortunately, there's nobody that you can just hand this problem to and have them do it for you. You do have to spend a month or two of in the evening instead of watching Netflix and doing a little bit of research, getting yourself to a point where you understand the subject matter well enough to be able to address the challenge for your child because I can't do it for you, right? I can tell you how to measure. I can tell you what good habits and bad habits are. I can tell you things that will put you hopefully on the right track, but I cannot do it for you, right? So start with measuring. Hopefully useful. If you like this one, subscribe. I post videos every random once in a while. Usually when something like this happens or a topic that makes me feel like it's worth making a quick video post about. That's it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next. Meow, 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 meow.